Jumps in all the places. We're gonna jump into the uh, box geometry. Lord Finesse, the awakening. Hip hop started in the Bronx in the mid 70s. In 1989, Lord Finesse stepped on the scene. No if, ands, or maybes. We can sell together, but hold on the baby. Finesse, known for his prolific metaphors, now in 1996, steps back on the scene with the awakening. Now shift the beat of male slow. Buckle up, you about to experience a lyrical journey into Lord Finesse's new EP. The awakening, sleeping is prohibited. No gimmicks allowed on board. And before we take off, I would like to acknowledge a few heads that made this trip possible. You know what I'm saying? Finesse ain't touching the mic unless he blowing it up, you know what I mean? And you know, the best MCs in the world can't stand toe to toe with Lord Finesse, for real. Yo, he's just, he's just L, yo, he's just a live performer, man. He's just, you know, he's unique. I remember the first time I saw him, and it's not the first time I saw him, but I mean the first time I saw him perform. It was like, yeah, the new music coming up. And during that time, that's when he was in the battle, and they never knew this kid at all. He was Adam. And he was coming up there and he was just rip, rip, ripping. And he doing things off the top of his head. They were like, who is this shorty? Who is this shorty? And Jazzy J was on his side. He was telling people, that's my man. That's my man. Dr. Dre, my brother, yo, keep that beat going. Because I'm going to keep doing my thing. I'm straight making pace. So everything's cool in the gang. I'm all about cash and females that got bad lovers. I don't have no time to be dealing with them crab brothers. And speaking on who's bad, I've been one of the baddest rappers since brothers is wearing do rags. It ain't you no should go pick up a Lord Finesse album for a couple of reasons. One is you were shorting on the first album of his first label. Um, you know, a lot of records wasn't made up. It wasn't shit to the DJs, so you really didn't get a chance to fully know what Lord Finesse was about. Lord Finesse got something for your eardrums. Back on the scene, long time, no hear from. Yeah, I was always a Finesse fan because he had the type rhymes that was like, you have to think about it. The metaphors was like type wild, and I was always for that wild, crazy, deranged type of stuff. One of the greatest that came out, straight up and down. Not because he's my man, but a lot of other people know this, but you just get underrated. The first single off the joint, The Awakening, is called Hip to the Game. Brothers better lounge when I pass through town. And it's real fat, you know what I'm saying? Don't Check it out. Ask around. Check it out. I'm not a newcomer. They say well, The Awakening starts off with the church sermon. I'm bugging. Like how I do every album, start off with something bug. Then it goes into time to bounce. I got doo-wop on it, you know, taking you through this journey as you prepare to listen to this album. Then the first cut is called um, True and Living. It's some real futuristic type, 2000 type, music type thing. I'm just laying that finesse. Finesse, I, I feel the delivery is way more, way more elegant. I've been laying it down before. Then after True and Living, you got the OC and a little sinister, dark, Quincy Jones soundtrack type music. And he's talking, he's, he's paying tribute to this to this project, like a quick rhyme, you know. And then after that comes Brainstorm with me, Karis, one, and OC. This is the scientific, extra prolific, terrific, mystic, simplistic, metaphysic, no gimmick type lyric. I flip flows you can't imagine. I break down your Flintstone style in the fragments. So pay attention to the man rapping. Don't Say hello, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Kula Porter from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right, you got the floor. What's your question? Well, I want to ask, I want to ask how long he's been rapping and what made him stand out to the record company? As an artist, performing and freestyling, I, I could get I get my thing on, you know? As far as turning the crowd upside down, that's, I get off doing that. Just hearing the crowd go, ooh. I kick a party till I'm over in the rock. You can't go out like Freestyling is not talking about one particular topic. It's just about, yo, you can start from your shoes and you can end up in your girl house and you can end up there, there, there. As a freestyler, I mean, I think he's real cool with that because, I mean, everybody who's like true hip hop with no finesse is, yo, if he's on the stage at the club, it don't matter who's headlining. Give him like 10 minutes. I mean, forget his record. Give him 10 minutes of acapella and nine times out of 10, he's going to shut it down because he'll probably start it from here, then he'll take you to Z, then he'll bring you back to one, two, three. 
then take you right up to 100 real fast. And that keep the crowd to set like a whole mood within the whole audience. So it was like type wild to watch him as a freestyle artist, man. That's, that's I think, is this highlight, man. It's been this whole highlight as an artist. So on, on the EP he got out now, you know what I'm saying? It, it, ain't, it ain't just a freestyle album, you know what I'm saying? You got some topics on there talking about chickens, you know, getting money, whatever, boom, bam. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like how his stuff is going down this time. Like I said, when you drop rhymes, it's like, you know he gonna have you on some either laughing, or he gonna have you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? He, he just dropped me on somebody. You know, that name fit him, you know what I'm saying? That's him. Funky man, you know what I'm saying? You funky, mad funky. What up? Ain't nobody can take that away from you. From that's just, you always gonna be the Lord, you know what I'm saying? That's, to me, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's like my brother, you know what I'm saying? As us as a crew, you know what I'm saying? Me, him, Show Diamond, we all like brothers, you know what I'm saying? Digging in the crate, you know what I'm saying? You pretty much should be affiliated with that. To me, as a lyricist, to me, he's like the best. I won't say one of the best, because if you listen to a lot of cats that are out now, you can hear a little bit of finesse in all of them. EP is coming out. It's incredible. You know what I'm saying? It's something to have in your collection. Definitely go out and get it. Support your people. I'm true, and I'm still living, and you can't stop me. I'm um, going to be here, like Cash once said, forever. And forever. ever and ever. And ever and ever. And ever. Do you hear us in here? Forever. forever. You know, and then, you know. That Nine eight seven three five three six. I don't know why she cheated the light down. New music shaggy. Inside Minisync next Friday night. New music, Lord Finesse. It's called Game Plan, right here on New York's number one video show, Video Music Box. If that's so, who you be? I'm a slick type of nigga. I like the lounge on the low. I be seeing you around. That's all dead, huh? I just swing and do my thing and lay low like the feds. Straight up real, no scam. So where your girl at? Probably out with your man. Yeah, yeah, that rapping is nice. My math is precise. I'm on you like a tracking device. Forget a crew, I got solo tactics. I ain't a half ass Baby, I got the total package. I never front it, you could get it if you want it. Won't say I'm the best, but I'm not that far from it. You know my style. You like to play low, you probably be going. Okay, if you say so, give me a minute and it's over. I'm one bad soldier. I was flexing before Mad Cobra. I got so much charm, even if you're with your moms. Huh. I play it cool like the bars on the weekends, Monday through Friday. I know this ain't Burger King, but I still have it my way. One shot for your mind, here we go. And beyond. I seen you playing around the field. Yeah, I used to stick and move. Now I just lounge and chill. I'm not the type to be sweating crazy. I need a real man. As real as you get, baby. My game is outstanding. I got a boyfriend. Yeah, well now you got a man friend. Oh, it's like that? Is you kidding? Shit. I got so much game, I could make a nun change religions. I got flavors like a rainbow. You think what I'm saying? Yeah, that's still a game, though. Come on, I know you like it. Don't front on me. I read your whole car like a psychic. Yeah, you got clout. No doubt, plus I'm getting money. Ain't a brother out teaching what I'm kicking, honey. I'm like Silk in H-Town. Can you dig it? I'll lick you up and down and knock your boots in a minute. Messing with me, nothing but good can happen. And there's a new sheriff in town. Really weird. You're looking One out. time for your mind, here we go. You know my style, I'm eating the flow. Girl, I know you're winning, so drop your seven digits. Got a minute to let me know. Type to act the fool, catching brothers with a tool. I just bag up skins, I play it cool. I kick game, I had your mind geese, cause I could be bummy and nappy headed and still pull a dime piece. Temping is hard, not to me. You got a lot to see the way I put skins under lock and key. And let them front the roll like they outstanding, huh? I leave them all standing in the cold. A girl act up, then I cut her off. Is your game smooth? Is it? My shit's but a sore. 
so won't y'all just hear me in? Why that? I get girls open like a cesarean. Yo, I roll with the big men and I don't have to trick in and mess around just to hit skins. So yeah, that's geese, I could make that shit cease. When I slot up in one time for your mind, here we go. You know my style, I keep the flow. Girl, I know you're with it, so drop yourself.